gitu. Good morning, Mem Nana. We are from Group 2. And in this video, we would like to present our graph of syntax analysis. So in this analysis, we are using two kinds of analysis. The first one is pipe piping of material in the domain of a WH word. So in linguistic, pipe piping is a phenomenon of syntax whereby a given focus expression brings along an encompassing phrase with it when it is moved. The term was introduced by John Robert Ross in 1967. It is a process by which one element in a clause drags other words, such as, in this case, WH questions, along with it. Here we have the example. The sentence is, you have repaired whose computer? The D-bar, null computer, merged with whose and formed the DP, whose null computer. That resulting DP then merge with the verb repaired and form the VP repaired and form the VP repaired whose null computer. In order to form a T bar, VP is merged with the auxiliary half and resulting half repaired whose null computer, which in return merge with its subject U and forming the TP you have repaired whose null computer. This TP then merged with an interrogative C carrying tenses and H fitters. So forming a C bar as shown below in this street diagram. So the next kind of analysis is the WH question. And there are two sentences that we analyze on this topic. So basically, WH question is a kind of movement operation traditionally termed WH movement. W expressions or W questions like what, who, where, why, which, etc. moves into the specific position within CP. This is the first sentence, which is what was he wearing? So the, the form before this sentence is he was wearing what, which is an equal question that functions to question something that is previously said. And it has become a non-equal question, which is what was he wearing? So it is known as a WH movement that moves maximal projections. And there are two movements as are drawn in the tree diagram. What has become C and what has become Q? This is the second question from WH questions. Who are you calling? As you can see, it's a non eco questions. And the eco questions is you are calling who? The three diagrams on the slide tells us that there are two movements. First, who is a pronoun as a complement of verb have moved into the front part of the overall clause as the specifier C of CP. Second, the auxiliary R move from the head T position of TP into the head C position of CP. Movement of the tense R to C serve to type the C bar as R plus null. That's all for our presentation today. Thank you.